good afternoon. Uh, I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to share some of our uh, views and practice in the past two years in this copyright stamp. So uh, the title is Copyright Stamp Principles, Representation, and Circulation. So this is an outline for my talk. Uh, first, I will uh, analyze what changes are happening in this media industry at this digital time. So basically, some new trend in media communication. I think we have had enough discussion uh, in the morning session that how you know the uh, copyright issues had to be uh, addressed in this changing time. And next, we'll <coughs> analyze what are needed from the perspective of market, the enterprise, and the copyright point of view. And the third part is our solution, our pr proposed solution, copyright them. So this is uh, a little bit uh, over two months ago, the last print issue for Newsweek for over 80 years. So it comes to the end. So it, the Newsweek will turn to digital uh, distribution only. No print issue anymore. So the digital time is coming to the media industry. And we did some summarization for the new trends in media communication. So we call it three C's, content creation, it's socialized, mobilized. So everyone can be a creator. I mean, with the rise of the you know, social media networks like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and the, uh, China's Weibo. And for content communication, it's diversified. We have a lot of channels now, uh, cable TV, mobile network, Ethernet. We have a lot of uh, communication forms e-publications, uh, apps, web page, SNS, and we have now a lot of uh, screens, PCs, TVs, you know, uh, mobile devices. For the content con consumption, we call it fragmented and customized. So actually any piece of work can be used to create a new work, new piece of work. So everyone can be a creator and everyone can use any piece of work to create some new, new, new work. So it's called a uh, fragmented and customized. So any piece of work can be consumed in this way. And after that, we will take a look at uh, what does the market need in this uh, new digital time. So the market needs valuable copyrighted content. It needs, what I see is what I got. Uh, I, I will explain a little bit more here. So basically, we, we think that market need some instant authorization, as I mentioned, uh, I will mention later. So whenever you see something on the web, you want to use it legally. You, you don't want to experience that, you know, the, the pain that George had mentioned in the morning that you know you spend three years and a half to reach a deal, three year deal, right? So you want something like you see and you, you can get you can get it, you can use it legally. This is called what we call what I see is what I get. And even better, there should be something what I want is what I get. Which means if you want something, you can't do it by yourself. You can use this socialized media network to ask many people to do it in the way that you want. So basically something like crowdsourcing. So this is uh, what we think the market need. And to address these needs in the market, what the enterprises, basically creators, need to do to satisfy these needs by the market. We think uh, these enterprises need to manage their copyrighted assets uh, uh, properly. They need to have some tools or services to manage their own copyright assets. And the instant rights authorization means that what you see is what you get, just like what I explained before. And also the socialized content production is to satisfy what I want is what I get. So this is uh, what 
the enterprise need to do in this uh, digital time. In terms of copyright, so we see some contradiction here. Uh, the, upper the, the upper row is, you know, the, prob the problem now, and the lower row is, you know, our proposed solution. So the first one is nowhere to find. It's often that you can see some images or some artwork on the web, but you don't know who is the author, who is the rights holder. You want to find out. And to do that, you got to have the rights declaration uh, together with the, with the image or the artwork together. And the second problem is authorization before using. So basically, you have to deal with the lawyers with the agreement back and forth for a long time before you can use it. But if we can have some instant rights authorization, what you see is what you, what you get, then you won't spend that much time, that much cost to, to use some you know, small piece of work. And the third is malicious infringement. So basically, this is a kind of you know, beyond the scope of my talk. So I'm not talking about the uh, copyright protection. I just listed here as a problem and solution. So people are dealing with DRMs and what, watermarking and so on and so forth. So <coughs> this is uh, what we like. CC, uh, Creative Commons, uh, what uh, Jonas has talked a lot about. So this is basically, we, we, we basically adopt this same similar idea of you know, instant, instant copyright authorization. So basically this is the similar idea behind our copyright stamp system. So what is the copyright stamp? Uh, the principles are we use structured rights expression to make the rights machine readable, searchable, and comparable. We make it inseparable with context so that the instant authorization is possible. And we have built some way to turn the law and regulations to the market language so people can understand what you know, the right means so that you know, it facilitated the circulation of the copyrighted content. So I liked uh, what uh, Stuart Myers just said in the afternoon, that start somewhere and grow the adoption. So we did something already. So this is uh, this representation <coughs> page, what, what we have done for the copyright stamp. So uh, we can see a picture, and we can see the the, uh, the caption and the description uh, of this picture. And down the line here, uh, the rights information and how you want to the users to use it. Basically, uh, you want it to use by a publisher. You want to use it by uh, some uh, web page, and so on and so forth. So you. You can list all the information here. It's all structured. And on this side, you, we have different forms of uh, representation for the copyright stamp. It, it can be a link, short link. It can be some embedded code. It uh, even can be a QR code or watermark. So basically, whenever this picture goes, as long as you have this little stamp here, you can scan it or you can click it and go back to this page, you can find all the rights information and authorization information and even the price information here in this representation page. And this is a little bit complicated. We have built this platform. It's called Copyright uh, uh, Stamp Platform. In the middle is a database and we provide a <coughs> list of services uh, for the <coughs> Uh, for this, for the user of this platform. So, from this side, from from the management point of view, we have a lot of you know, your inputs into this system. And for output, we can do either exchange, tran tr some corporate transaction, or we can organize some um, uh, socialized work together, like crowdsourcing. 
and this is also an op um, open platform. We have open APIs for a lot of uh, third-party applications. So basically, it's a kind of ecosystem so that people, you know, dealing with the copyright can work on this platform. And this is how the copyright stamp cir circulates. So basically, from that end, you have creatives and you have enterprises. When they create some piece of work, you can import it into the copyright stamp platform, or you can use our copyright uh, asset management system as an input. And when you try to release it, you have that stamp. You have this stamp added on the piece of work and publish it to anywhere you want, web page, social network system, and so on. So whenever uh, some end user you know, uh, find the work they want to use by either browsing or by some other way, they can click on that uh, stamp and comes back to this uh, rights information page. And if they want to buy it or they want to get licensed, they can either pay or if the uh, uh, if the right holder authorizes it for free, they can use it for free. But you have to uh, acknowledge the author of this work. So what's the values for using this copyright stamp? For licensors, <coughs> it provides instant and fine rights authorization. It provides low-cost communication expansion and it provides self-management and operation. So basically, what you want to manage and operate your piece of work, you can do it by yourself. We just provide service and tools. And for licensees, they can, they, uh, they can have instant access and use of content. They can <coughs> organize socialized creation of copyrighted contents, and they can lower the risk of unintended rights abuse. So this is a real example we have built uh, it's called the China Image and Video Copyright Bank. It's a collaboration of uh, our company and the Xinhua New News Agency. They have over a million uh, historical archival images in their database. So we have up, uh, <coughs> show some examples here. So basically, you know, all the images you have the rights information, uh, authorization information, and pricing information here for each image. People, if they browse uh, through this website, if they want to buy, they just by clicking, we finish all the, all the procedures for the purchase. So last, uh, some introduction about our company. It's called Beijing Copyright Bank Tech Co Limited. It's about uh, two years old, and we are actually a bunch of engineers so we are not so good at you know standard and so on. So I'm very pleased to be here at this IPTC meeting, and we have some uh, good technology though. We have that copyright marked language. It's kind of similar to the uh, Rice ML, but uh, we have something else. It's not so you know so good standardized, but we try we tried our best, and we have this <coughs> first copyright clause. It's the uh, first SaaS provider for focusing on corporate service in China. And our resources, uh, we are actually supported by the government, uh, National uh, Corporate Administration of China, uh, Corporate Society of China, and the Corporate uh, Protection Center of China. And our industry partners include Xinhua New News Agency, some media, large media groups in China, and uh, some publish publication group. Um, I want to <coughs> end up with my talk with the word by Seward Brand. Information wants to be free. Information also wants to be expensive. It all depends how you define it. Thank you.